Hi guys, this is John Judd. Today I have 11 keyboard shortcuts for you. These are selected in no particular order. I just happen to use these in my workflow. I wrote them down as I happen to use them, so there's no order of importance here. Number one, control and the mouse wheel in the playlist. So control and the mouse wheel in the playlist will give you horizontal stretch, and that's for zooming in on clips. I guess you could call it zoom, horizontal zoom, perhaps. Number two, vertical stretch in the playlist. Left alt key and the mouse wheel will give you that. I guess that's vertical zoom as well, kind of stretching out the tracks in a vertical way. Number three, the pencil tool. And we're looking at the tools up here in the playlist. Let's say for a moment that your cursor is not the pencil tool. I use the pencil tool most of the time, but let's say it is you open the project up and it's not the pencil tool. You hit shift P if you prefer the pencil tool. Number four, the brush tool. So that would be shift B. So if you're wondering what the brush is, that's what the brush does. You're basically painting all that stuff in there. Number five, looking for mute. So let's say we have a whole bunch of clips and you wanted one of them to not play. Yeah, zoom into that. Your right alt key and the left click, mouse click. So right alt key and the left click. And there we have it. That's your muting. I use that one all the time with MIDI and audio. Number six delete your right mouse click it probably doesn't even qualify as a shortcut it deletes number seven let's say you're in the playlist okay let's say we have that and it's not named over here on the left if you hit right click a it's named number eight playlist grouping let's say you had these two particular clips that had similar functionality and you wanted them to be group together somehow like maybe you had this one on the end you would hit right click g and there it's grouped or ungrouped okay this one i'm going to go over here and pull the mixer out so we have these two clips oh i already routed it oops uh, let's say this one i pulled this one in it, if you look over here it's not routed so if you hit control L, it came up in the mixer. That is going to help route things. So if you have a whole bunch of audio clips, you can click on them, bring up their sample properties, and then you can route them with control L. Number 10, alt and F8. That brings up the browser. With my particular workflow in FL Studio, I use Alt F8 all the time. Number 11, I'm grouping these together as one particular shortcut, even though there are a bunch of them. So F5, that's your playlist. Whether it's even there or not. F6, there we go. That's your channel rack. F6 brings it up. F9 for the mixer. F11 for info. That's the audio tab with a whole bunch of important stuff in it. F8 to bring up VST instruments. You can go through all your plugins and select them for the mixer should you need to. Let's say you had an instrument, which I don't. So I'm going to pull one up. And I just said use F8 to pull up an instrument. So let's go to synths. I happen to, where is it? There it is. I like citrus. And we're going to use control L and route it. Okay, so there it is. So let's say you have this up, you have a synth up, whatever it happens to be. You hit F7, and there's your piano roll. You can enter notes. Okay, so that's been 11 keyboard shortcuts. I'm going to do another one of these because I definitely didn't hit everything I needed to hit today. So thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day.